all relationships are based on the equation of mutual give and take. They are hampered by selfishness and nourished and strengthened through sacrifice and service. Let us learn the importance of these today on the seventh day of our happiness challenge. One boy and girl came to me and said, Swamiji, please give us your blessings. We have decided to take the seven circles around the fire to get married. I called the boy aside and said, why do you wish to marry this girl? He said, Swamiji, she is very beautiful. Her father is very rich and she loves me very much. I will get great happiness from her. I then called the girl aside and asked her, Why do you wish to marry this boy? She said, Swamiji, he has a very promising corporate career. He is very dashing and handsome and he takes great care of me. I then got them both together and said, Look, both of you wish to marry the other for your own happiness, not for the happiness of the other. And the moment your happiness is affected or lessened, the love will reduce. In other words, this marriage is always vulnerable. If you wish to strengthen it, learn to be more selfless. Unfortunately, we don't even realize that when we think we are doing things for others' sake, we are still motivated by selfishness. Consider this situation. A husband and wife were in the bed speaking to each other together when around 11 p.m. at night they began fighting. The fight had happened many times earlier but on this day it became very serious and the husband said I will take it no more. I am not going to sleep in this house with you. He got out of bed, he walked out of the door and he went to sleep in the car in the driveway. One hour later, the wife had a change of heart. She suddenly realized how much she loves her husband. So she took her husband's favorite soda bottle out from the fridge to go and give it to him. But when she reached the car, she found that he was asleep. Nevertheless, she opened the door and placed the soda bottle there and closed it back, thinking that when the husband wakes up and sees what she has done for him, he will also realize how much he loves her. And then they will live happily ever after. Now, if this had been a fairy tale, that would have been a probable ending. But this was not a fairy tale. When the husband got up and saw the soda bottle there, his anger had not yet subsided. Rather than drinking it, he poured it onto the road and then smashed the bottle. When the wife came to know what the husband had done, she became infuriated. And she came to meet me and said, Swamiji, when I behaved so selflessly with my husband, why did he do this to me? 
I said to her, What did you expect your husband to do for you? And that is when a bombshell hit her. For the first time she realized that she was being selfish. And even when she was doing something for her husband, she had this expectation of reciprocation. When that was not met, it caused her frustration. Ponder over it. In all our relationships, we are motivated by this expectation of return, reward and reciprocation. So if only we can learn to drop this. As I had said earlier, first try to understand and then be understood. Make sacrifice and service the goal in your relationship. You will then discover that you have found the art of a much healthier and stronger relationship. This is the homework for you today to see how you can give more in your relationships and to think of the ways you are getting dissatisfied because of the desire for taking. Practice this today and we shall move ahead in the art of healthier relationships from here tomorrow.